Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am joined by my cousin Danny. Yo. And today, today's video we're just gonna be talking um, about different questions that a lot of Christian people have um, in their mind. And they just wanna know the answer to those questions. So today, this video is for you. And yeah, let's just get started. And the first big question is, why am I a Christian? I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna start with the first um, answer to that question. So why am I a Christian? Um, honestly, I've recognized that without God, I am nothing. Um, I'm not in it. I'm not Christian because of what I've received, but what I've, but because of what I believe and what I've been through. And I, I recognize that God is real. Um, a lot of people have doubts of, oh, God is, is God real or is, or is he not? God is like, God is real. I've seen it through miracles I've seen it through through many different ways and I just I'm Christian because I recognize that without God I am miserable without God I, I I'm just nothing why are you Christian I'm a Christian because um I decided not to question is God real yes or no but I took the the initiative or that that action to really say if people are telling me that God is real if people are, are praising and worshiping and, and receiving from that God that they serve, then I want to experience it. So, you know, I decided to experience God. And ever since then, it, it was no longer me getting experiences, but me getting closer and having that relationship and then seeing things work out for my favor and, you know, in the good and the bad and just worshiping and just seeing God really moving within my family and my church and, you know, all the things in life. So... You know, I'm a Christian because I, I went from a, I want to have an experience into that experience going into a relationship, a strong relationship that really marked my life about five years ago, almost. So, yeah. Awesome. That's awesome to hear. Um, I have a question for you. Um, what do, what do you do? And, and I mean, you're saying you're like, what do you, what do you like to do? What's your, what are your passions? So my passion is I really like to talk and you know sometimes you know I shut down or you know I get I have doubts and I have worries and I have all this and that but you know I, I, I recognize that God has called me for greater right so you know I just try to develop it in every aspect and you know my parents really helped me with that and you know just developing how I speak and how I act so you know I really love to talk and just express the love of God and um, another thing is, you know, I, I love music. I'm passionate, you know, day, day by day, I'm getting better. You know, I'm not looking, comparing myself to other musicians, but I'm taking, you know, what they do. And, you know, I want to learn what they have. So, you know, one day I can just be better than I was yesterday. Right. So, you know, that's my passions. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, you know, I have a question for you is, you know, you know, everybody fails, but yes. what do you do? when you fail or when you feel like you failed God? Awesome. That's a good question. Um, what do I do when I feel like I failed God yeah. or if I know if I did? Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely an amazing question. You know why? Because a lot of people go through this. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know you can relate. I can relate as well. I failed God many times. Mm -hmm. We're sinners. It, it happens. But when it comes to that time, for me especially, I recognize that I did him wrong. And I feel really bad in my heart. Like, I feel it. You can feel it when you're, like, mm -hmm. when you're not right. right. So, definitely, I come to Christ. So, yeah, I come to Christ with a humble heart, asking for forgiveness. I tell I tell God straight how it is. I tell him mm -hmm. what I did, like, what I recognize. I tell him. I And I ask for forgiveness. You know why? Because God is un Dios que tiene mucha misericordia por nosotros. He, had, he forgives us for what we do because he, re, he knows that we are sinners. But we just got to come to him with a humble heart and ask him for forgiveness and not do it again. Because yeah. there's a lot of people who ask for forgiveness, yeah. but they still do it. So, like, guys, like, I wonder God. He's like, he asked for forgiveness, but is he really, like, does he really mean it? Mm -hmm. So, like, me, um, I just come with a humble heart, like I said, and I just ask for forgiveness and try to get back up. Like, I don't, I don't want to stay in that stage down here. Because when you like, up here, basically, and you feel God, you go down here. Yeah. Your heart, everything just goes down. And it's just a matter of, you know, asking for forgiveness and getting back up and doing the right thing this time. And doing it with God. Amen. If you keep God in, in, in the center of it all, 
Amen. You won't fail him. Amen. No. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. What is one question that a lot, because I know um, you're basically an influencer on, on Instagram and whatever. People look up to your videos, mm -hmm. to your captions, whatever, because they speak. They speak to me. I know they speak to other people. Mm -hmm. um, what is one question that throughout this whole year you, you've received from someone or, so, or you heard something that, you know, they haven't answered it and you want to talk about it and answer it? So I think for me, I think the biggest question is God still working? Hmm. Is God still with us? Hey, wow. and, and, like, and, and that's really, it could be a deep question, but in, in all actuality, it's whether or not did you maintain your relationship hmm. with God through all these months. That's good. You know, it, you know, we could say it, it, is God real and this that, but I seen Him work last year. Right. You know, I seen Him work. You know, many times. So why does why can't God work through all, through all this? Mm -hmm. And I and I think it it, it really it, it really goes down to your relationship, because if you don't have a relationship with God, then your your faith <laughs> you ain't gonna have no faith left. Right. You ain't gonna have nothing left because you you decided not to see God because you were comfortable in the place. Hmm. Because you 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 were determined to oh this is gonna just pass away, you know. It, Hey, it's, it might pass away or it might not pass away, but you can't sit there and be like, okay, God has everything under control. You know, I know God, there's God, that. And then you begin to lose it little by little. Like, right. you have to just maintain, like, what is God saying? You want to hear what God's saying? They go into the relationship, go to, you know, like, you know, one-on-one, right. -on -one, mm -hmm. like, with God. Because that's, I think many times us Christians, we think that, oh, you know, I haven't talked, you know, I haven't talked to God in a minute, but I know he got me. Yeah, he got you, but you know you're his child. He wants to speak with you, so right. you know I think it it really goes down down to that. Like, yeah, is God working? He definitely is working. If 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 you didn't if you don't have no faith left, then you know God is still working. God is still doing his thing. You know, it's just read your Bibles, read your Bibles, and like I said, stay in the relationship with God. Definitely. So you know, one question I have for you is. You know how in the midst of what while 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 you go out right you know many times we can see our you know church folks out out of sight of church right right and you know sometimes they could get a little judgmental or whatever this and that or they you know they they believe different so how do you how do you how do you you know balance whether or not or to wear this or like how people view you right you no know, because we don't want to be fake mm -hmm. but you know god just works in my life different, different you know yeah. god works different so how do you and and people don't want to hear that so how do you how do you balance that from you know getting that out of your mind and telling people like yo this is my relationship with god you know that i'm not going to get out of respect from god right so you know how do you what do you think about that well definitely like how you're we saying um you know like you were saying, God works different with everyone else. Like, with, He works different with you. He works different with me. Um, it's just a matter of uh, how you say, yeah. People can really get judgmental because of what you're wearing or what, you know, what's going on. And honestly, like me, it hasn't come to a point where it happened to me. Mm -hmm. But like, if it was to happen, or if they if they were to question me like why do I do this or yeah. why do I wear this um, honestly what I will say would be that you know first you can you know you can um, you can't just be judgmental you can't just be like that like I don't like just like crazy you know yeah. you gotta think first before you speak and obviously like me I will just tell them that you know God works different with me than he can work with you it's just a matter it comes back to a relationship with god yeah. like this is not gonna save me mm -hmm. this is not gonna take me to heaven mm -hmm. it's just a relationship with god that you have one-on-one -on -one, like our brother danny was saying earlier it's just it comes to the relationship with god so like honestly uh like like how we had that talk earlier in that facetime a couple days ago you know they were saying that i really like that you know because 
if the spirit, if you let yourself be guided by the spirit, the, the spirit will tell you what's right mm -hmm. and what's right and what's wrong. Right. And if the spirit is telling you nothing but something good, then you know you go ahead. But the spirit, the spirit can tell you when you're wrong and when you're right, and you know what to do and what not to do. So it just comes down to yeah. to that. Honestly. I agree. Yeah, I I, I agree. And it goes back to reading your Bibles and yes. not taking things out of context. You right. Know? Mm -hmm. Like you can't just pick and choose. I was watching a video today, and it was like you know we've have we've been picking and choosing what we want. Mm. Like we can't pick on we can't pick and choose. Right. Like I understand. Like you may view I don't know you know the Bible different or you, like you, the relationship with with your God is different. Um. And you know you brought up you were brought up different, but you know it's reading your bibles having that relationship right and you know just knowing god like mm -hmm. knowing god for your life and you know respecting others loving others but telling them the truth of the word so, right yeah and you know i have a question that i know a lot of people have asked me mm -hmm. on instagram and stuff how can i get closer to god well like we are speaking this whole video it's relationship you know Here's one thing I know that, you know, there could be, you know, cadena, you know, bondage. You know, you may feel like stuck. You know, we, we can we may feel stuck and, and and I know that there can be a point in life where it's just like dragging. But at that moment you have to scream Jesus like never before. Yes. Because at that name, demons tremble, yep. chains break. He's a way maker, a miracle worker. That's right. Promise keeper. So I think at that moment, you need to scream Jesus like never before. You want to get closer to God, scream Jesus. Like, and you know, it's like telling God, I surrender, you know, I, I, you know I'm you know, i over everything. Like, if you're the God, like just show up and like, you just begin to break it, just begin to break it, break and just scream and just scream out the name and just begin to seek God. Just, you know, I'm not feeling anything, but I know, but I know because it worked for my friend and I know, I know it worked for that person. I know, I know Jesus, 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 Jesus. And, you know, consistent, consistent. Mm -hmm. And I know that God will break everything. And I know that you, you will get closer to God and you will know, mm -hmm. you will fight. You will fight off everything. You will fight it off because you screamed Jesus and he came to help. That's right. You know, he's, he's your strength. At every point in life, you know, at your strongest, at your weakness, at your weakest, at every point in life, he's there. You just scream Jesus. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, that was a that was a good answer. Um, yeah, guys, basically like the overall overall um point is getting closer to God, having a, a relationship with mm -hmm. Him, having an intimate relationship with God, because that's what it comes. All you know, all, all down to you know having that relationship with God one on one, not with your friend, not with your partner, whatever, with God, mm -hmm. and He will guide you. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it for the questions. But we also want to like um, talk about what we got planned for the future, and yeah, I'm gonna have you start with your thing for sure. You know, for the plans for the future, you know, we really wanna. And our vision is to really get closer to young people all over, you know, from wherever you are, you know, from whatever you speak, you know, we want to get closer to you guys. We want to unite because we, we just know that together we're better, together that we can fight off, yes. <laughs> together that we're stronger. Remember that. Remember that rubber bands by themselves don't hurt, but when you start making a ball out of, out of the rubber bands. The, the 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 rubber band ball begins to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it begins to get harder because you have joined together all the rubber bands mm -hmm. so you know we're we're gonna get stronger together yes you know we, we want to go to different you know different states and, and different cities and just have services and just you know let God guide us through all of it you know we have the vision you know we're gonna let God we're gonna let God do his thing because you know our our time is now and you know we're gonna do it we're gonna do it and you know so we're gonna start in our state first you know we're gonna do 
United Youth and our state first. And then from there, we're gonna like, we're gonna be in big prayer and just letting God flow mm -hmm. and, and taking us. Cause we know that there's a, we have to be prepared for, for, for where we're going. We have to let God prepare us. We can't just go like, oh, I'm just gonna do it. So, you know, I'm getting my plane ticket. Oh, I got my friend's church that I'm about to preach at. No, mm -hmm. it, it's not like that. You know, we're, we're gonna let God, God, God guide us and prepare us. And you know, from there, from fuego, Definitely, definitely. And also, um, my brother Danny, you have merch, right? Yes, sir. So yeah, yeah I got talk, talk to us about your merch. And talk what about it mean. your merch. Um, so you see the merch here. I mean, uh huh. So it says, "Be different." The artist stepping out, TMF. And um, you know, I created this because you know my journey was me coming out from being like everybody else in, in a way of just flowing with the patterns of this world. And, you know, like I said, like, I think it was like five years ago when I decided to step out and to be different and to move forward. And that's where this came from. And, you know, TMF for everybody. I don't care mm -hmm. where you at in life, what you do is team moving forward. We're moving together. Yes. Just be different. The artist stepping out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what I go by. And, you know, from this, we're just going to keep on moving forward. That's and right. bigger and better is coming. Definitely. So, brother Josue, you know. So you know, what do you, what do you think about the plans that we have? Oh yeah, the plans. I'm excited for for what's to come. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you know, I have a lot of things planned. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for everything. Um, I can't wait. Um, we have a lot of vigilias going coming up. We have a lot of events that we're trying to plan with God's help and. Yeah, I'm excited for, for what's to come, honestly. Like. Yes, sir. And um, we see that he won the hoodie. So, explícame yeah. por favor. Yeah. So, this is just uh, something that I created. It's called, it stands for Legacy Maker. And it's just, uh, the message behind it is, you know, it's basically to leave a legacy wherever mm -hmm. you go, wherever you stand. And, you know, it comes back to, you know, being different, like our, our brother's merch being different and stepping out and you know leaving a legacy living an impact on everyone's life and you know just being different honestly because yeah. we gotta represent if we want to be like jesus we gotta be like jesus jesus was different jesus left a legacy wherever he he went wherever he stepped and that's just the message behind that is just to leave a legacy and don't be afraid of yeah. being different people might look at you weird but it is what it is. It's because you're being different. You're not a part of the group. You're not a part of the of that area. You're you're in a whole different circle. You're Let's on go. your own. You're building your own circle. Mm -hmm. And what a great thing to you know build and surround yourself with people who are different. Yeah. With people who have a vision. Mm -hmm. Because if you surround with people who don't have visions, who are just they don't want to do nothing. That's what you're gonna be doing as well. Nothing. Yeah. So definitely you know be different and leave a legacy and we're working together um bigger stuff united youth let's go well, i'm i'm thinking of actually you know making some merch for united youth what let's you do think it. i love it i love, I love, I love, I love it <laughs> nah, no but yeah for sure like run it. yeah definitely you know whatever it is whatever we got to do to you know not only people in the church yeah like my friends that don't serve you know i'm i'm willing to work work with them too right you know they struggle too they need the relationship with god too so definitely. how about going out and reaching them too it's for everybody definitely. this is this is for everybody mm -hmm. nobody's left out and, and, and jesus mm -hmm. nobody's left out you know jesus came and died on the cross for everyone for all of us mm -hmm. so you know that's, that's what right. we're here for not to only unite the, the church definitely. but to unite our friends mm -hmm. family members and that you know they be impacted definitely you know? so I'm, I'm really excited for us to join at this i can see at this moment in life mm -hmm. you know i'm excited to you know just to see this prosper definitely. you know I'm, I'm 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 excited because you know we both have our different paths you know mm -hmm. just different lives yeah. we're going to different places mm -hmm. but now it's like wow how how beautiful it is that you know we've we've come together for you know a certain thing that we're passionate about definitely and we we explode this together mm -hmm. because 
I, I can do it because I want to do it by myself and I have my own hoodie and he got his own hoodie and like my I think mine is better because his is not better better than mine and at the end of the day whatever is better and whatever is not better mm -hmm. whatever y'all think whatever I think it's not about that right it's about you know really just getting to know what we all love to do and just right. coming together mm -hmm. and dumb. just spreading it like wildfire mm -hmm. and you know that's what we're about to do we're about yep. to go ham take flight mm -hmm. jordan ha. <laughs> legit well yeah guys if you guys want to um, follow us with this journey mm -hmm. you know you can follow our instagrams it will be down there down there in the description and in the screen right now so you know make sure you follow us so you can stay updated with what we're doing mm -hmm. and if you want to be a part of this just let us know about the youth, uh, united youth and the services upcoming and all that stuff just let us know and yeah we're only going up from here yep all right that's all and we out god bless y'all